VMware and VirtualBox are two of the most popular virtualization tools. But which one is better? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about VMware. Known for its professional grade performance, VMware offers both free and paid options, with the workstation player being the go-to for most users. It's fast, reliable, and optimized for high-performance virtual machines, making it a favorite among developers and IT professionals. On the other hand, VirtualBox is an open-source alternative that's completely free. It's flexible, works on multiple platforms, and is ideal for casual users or those experimenting with virtualization for the first time. When it comes to ease of use, VirtualBox has a simple interface, but its performance can feel slower when running resource-heavy VMs. VMware, by contrast, is better optimized and delivers smoother performance, especially for tasks like running multiple virtual machines simultaneously. In terms of compatibility, VirtualBox supports a broader range of host and guest operating systems. However, VMware has a better integration with advanced features like 3D acceleration and supports for enterprise-grade virtualization tasks. Now let's talk pricing. VirtualBox is free, no strings attached. VMware's workstation player also has a free version. But for full functionality, including advanced networking and snapshot features, you'll need to pay for the Pro version, which can be expensive. Now, the deciding factor often comes down to your use case. If you are a professional or need top-tier performance for development or testing, VMware is the better choice. But if you are a student, hobbyist, or just getting started with virtualization, VirtualBox offers fantastic value at no cost. In the end, both are excellent tools, but your choice depends on whether you prioritize performance or affordability. Try them out and see which fits your needs best.